1 p.m. on Monday the 11th of September, I believe. Yep, yep, September 11th, 9-11. Hopefully nothing happens today. I'm in the McDonald's, not too far from my hotel. There's a DK. In Hong Kong, the McCafes, they have decaf coffee. So I got decaf. And they give you extra water so you can dilute it if you want. And I, they have different selection of burgers here. So they have something called a mushroom Swiss, which is a pretty, pretty good sized cut of meat. And I just get rid of the bun. And then I was feeling a little hungry, so I got a chicken Caesar salad as well. All told, this is going to cost me 24 for the coffee, and see that 20, and then 69.80. So basically 95 Hong Kong dollars. So divided by 7.8. So you're looking at approximately 13 bucks. So food's not cheap here in Hong Kong. This one's for you, Dave. I'm on the lion's head. And it's straight down below, buddy. as far as I'm going to go because my feet are wet and if I slip I'm gone. And I can't dilly dally up here because the sun is fading fast and I want to get off this rock. This is where the treacherous part of the climb when they put up those signs. So yeah, yeah if you don't like heights and jagged rocks climbing, this might not be the place. This part of the hike, you can bypass this part. Alright, signing off. Hey everybody! Woo! The king of the world. Ooh. Welcome to Kowloon everybody. Kowloon's on the other side of the harbor from Hong Kong. So from Kowloon you can see Hong Kong. And from Hong Kong, oh uh, no, oh no, thank you. Uh, no, thank you. Thank you. Who should you? So, uh, so this is not too far from Nathan Road. Nathan Road is right over there. And this is uh, this is a very very popular area for tourists who want to stay in a budget hotel. And budget is a relative term in Hong Kong. So, all right. I was actually at my hotel in Hong Kong in Central yesterday. And I was watching a video of the maestro. And he's a man who I, uh, who I subscribe to on YouTube. He has an interesting channel. And he was trying something out. He envisioned setting up a communication system where he could have multiple people on, on the line at the same time having a discussion. Uh, I've seen it on different channels where they have you know, a panel of experts and they go from one to another and you see them all on the screen at the same time. You see the reactions of people as the other people are talking. So he asked for volunteers and I, I was uh, in room working on... Uh, some uh, some work items and I was just finishing up because I had to leave the hotel to, to go on a hike and he asked for volunteers and I volunteered and it turned turned out that you know he's in Florida where they're getting hit with a hurricane and his family was away and they called him so so he asked me to um, to talk to his audience while he was talking to his daughter and uh, I think it turned out like it was an hour, well, over an hour. I lost track of the time. I was just trying to fill in and then people were asking certain questions and I tried to do the best I can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a link down below to that video in the description. And uh, I recommend that, you know, check out his channel. He seems like a real nice guy. His name's Brian and he's a teacher. And he's also a professional uh, trumpet player. Very interesting guy. 
obviously has some skills. And um, and then uh, I think uh, he asked me to talk around the one hour, one hour twenty mark, somewhere in there. So it's a long, it's a long video. It's three and a half hours. But scan through it and let me know. This is the first time I'd ever participated in a live broadcast, and it's a little overwhelming from the standpoint that you have the comments coming down on the right side, and they go by, so you have to go back and find them. And what happens is when you're talking, when I'm talking, you know, I'm focused on what I'm trying to say, and then you're also trying to read that at the same time, so you can respond and comment to people, and trying to keep your train of thought while you're doing that. It's, it's definitely a learned skill. So uh, I will put that in. And I was gonna go for a hike today. I did a hike yesterday. And it is so hot today. It's the stagnant heat that uh, I decided that uh, I'll do it tomorrow. Because, um, well, maybe I'll try to do it today. Because there is no cool day here. So I've got to go make that decision now. All right, have a great day. Bye.